Some of us were destined to be artists, but not I. In my blood from a young age, I was a cook, a noodle chef, as decided long before by some ancient power and years before time itself. And I couldn't buck the trend. Every time I felt some sort of creative urge, even though I wanted to draw something, I just ended up making another bowl or pot or even a vat of noodles, delicious and as tasty as they were. It's not what I wanted. I wanted something else. I, I wanted, wanted to create something on paper, some lines, some art, a painting even, something a little bit more permanent perhaps. And while each dish I made was dangerously delicious, people forgot about them as soon as they slurped down the last noodle. But what was I supposed to do? I seemed to be cursed with only culinary creativity. And I didn't know how to branch out. Because how do you branch out? How do you do something you've never done before? Do you <laughs> stick in one toe to test the temperature or just dive in head first? These are the questions that define a man. And for many years, I continued on, totally undefined. I continued making my ramen, my dishes of noodles piled high, stuck on a road that I thought had no exits and no space to turn around. Until one day, I found something behind the soy sauce changed everything forever. I realized that art and my cuisinary tendencies didn't have to be two separate things. In fact, I think art in almost any area of life can go hand in hand and create some truly flabbergasting results. I realized that art doesn't really have to be something separate or some other chunk or lump of our lives, but kind of ingrained and intertwined with the other things that we like doing. I know sometimes life gets weird and all gooey and tangled up and we can't get things straightened out and figure out how to get started on something that we've wanted to do for so long or we don't even know what we want or what we're good at or what we could be good at if we found out what we did want or what we could want or where we might be good if we something or what it's just we gotta you know just start at something and find out where you something look look just take take the noodles of your life and and cook them like you always have and then look behind the soy sauce of your life. See what's there. Something will be there. And then put whatever that is onto the noodles of your life. And then just kind of slurp and plurp and it around a little bit. And just have fun with it. Get your fingers dirty. Maybe, you know, up to the elbow. It's fine. Don't, don't be afraid if it gets on your face. And it'll just dive in it'll be good for you something crazy and different and nasty and dirty and beautiful will happen i don't regret telling you right now that you won't regret it because you won't i mean you might regret it at first in a little bit because there'll be a mess everywhere but it'll be good for example maybe you're really into deli meats and you slice them and hoard them and hawk them at street fairs you've got your i think i'm losing my mind <clears throat> Got your honey-baked ham, turkey salami, blood sausages, and Lebanon bolognese. Smoked turkey and liverwurst all stacked up, piled to the roof. But really, sometimes you want to be making art. But have you considered the idea that maybe what you're doing is a little bit art? And that you can keep doing what you're doing and make art at the same time? It's a possibility, I guarantee it. Art is a lot of things. It's not just drawing a picture of, of, of you know, President Hoover on a piece of paper, you know, and having him sit there all regal and formal or, you know, a starry night by uh, that Van Gogh's, that guy. And it, it's a lot more than that. And don't get all bogged down in all these weird fine art things that people say art is this and people say art is that. Art is you creating things and having fun with it and enjoying it and doing your thing your way and just making something that wasn't there before. So go do your thing, whatever you're into, whatever you love, 
It can be something you already love and are already into. So go do it, dude. Guy, girl. Uh, yeah, okay, 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 bye. I, I, I did it. I did it with noodles. So you do it with something else. Don't do noodles. I, that was my thing. Okay. Okay, bye. I'm just kidding. You can, you can do noodles if you want.